Maybe we can see. Here we go. So my birthday was on a Sunday. It's Tuesday. Yesterday I didn't vlog. Did I vlog? I think I vlogged a little bit. But I'm gonna say welcome to a, a weekly, a new weekly vlog. Now, today I'm just cleaning since it's just me and Amber in here. Since I've had a lot of foot traffic in the house, sweep, mop, redo everybody's bedroom, wash the sheets, wash the blankets, all that good stuff. We're gonna do that today. Got one load in the wash now. I'm about to pull the outside because he doesn't know how to stay out of my way. So that's the that's what we're doing today. So I also need to go to Home Goods again. I went yesterday. What did I say? Oh, I bought a vase for my flap. I bought a vase for my flowers, guys. Look at them. I love this vase too. It's so cute. And they had, they had a whole bunch of like little vases like these on sale at Home Goods. So I picked that up, and it looks so cute in like the space. I guess a little pop of color. But I need to go back there today because I need to find more mint green to match the bedroom, just to see what they have. Cause I didn't really get a chance like yesterday. We was, we were starving by the time we were trying to go there. And then I'm probably gonna go to Bath and Body Works and get the little five for 25 wall bookings because when he comes back in the house, it smells like dog. I love my dog, but I don't like, I don't like my house to not smell like nothing because to me that smells. Look at her. Huh. Look at the woman, look at her. Huh. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drives with her. Catch me in the whip. It's frustrating. Okay, so y'all, I didn't grab the camera because I don't know about y'all, but once I mentally get in that space, I there's no like, oh, let me go grab the camera. I have cleaned this whole house from top to bottom. Also, baby, we done moved the whole bed. <laughs> Boxes and everything. So I'll take y'all up there and show y'all and explain to y'all why we did that. Because I was tired of my bed becoming my dog's bed. It, ooh, this dent on my forehead. Baby, you was working. Stop playing. <laughs> My Hi, I'm just a girl. <laughs> Please. I'm just a girl. Bali the bay. How Please. much manual labor can a girl do in a day too much? You buy the builders Ooh. and everything else today. I'm genuinely like tired too. That's crazy. I'm really you ain't stopped since shit we got home. Oh, yeah. You're just a little OCD. That's all. That is my red flag. My red flag is OCD. My green flag is I'm very chill. I'm not the crazy friend. That's no. my green flag. You're like so chill to where I think it's kind of crazy. Because what? I'm very chill. Like normal things that people will react to. You're just like, huh. Cause if I react, I'm going to chill. I feel you, baby. And you know that. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. You've seen me upset. Yeah. So we're not gonna do that. If I react, yeah, I'm not because I don't react, and I probably should have reacted a long time ago. Once I do react, I'm going to jail. Yeah. And I fully admit to it. My mama knew it, my daddy knew it, everybody knows it. So I'm the child, like, if they get a call from a county jail and it's me, they're gonna come get me. Baby. 
Because what did she do? Because who is Kaylin? Oh, please tell me what happened right now. See, this friend, if I get a call from County Jail, I'm going to go get it regardless. But it's not going to shock me no. at all. I'm going to be like. I think I'm in your face with it. You're not in your face with it. You're surprisingly like will catch people off guard type of. Because I don't react. Because you know? I don't say nothing. I let it's it so fester. Weird. I don't react. So here's the thing. And I feel like this is good advice. To any female, if you want to react with a dude, don't do it off rip. Oh, yeah. Take a nap first. <laughs> Go to bed. Think about it. Get your ducks in a row. Because you know how you get in an argument with somebody and you're like, dang. I wish I was. After the fact, it's like, dang, this don't add up. Now this don't add up. I should have said this. I should have said that. Hold on, wait a minute. When you go to bed on it, <laughs> when you go to sleep, you get to thinking. You have a brain blast. And now it's like, oh, this, 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 this. So when then when you approach the nigga with the questions, how you turn up so loud music? How did that happen? Um, so then when you approach the nigga about the situation, it's like you hit him over the head. It's like, womp, what about this? Mm -hmm. Womp, but that don't add up with this. And then it's like, oh uh, damn. That's y'all problem. That that is my friend's problems. That if you want to react, y'all, you got to harp on it. You got to think because now you done reacted. Y'all done cuddled and canoodled in bed and then you wake up in the morning to be mad because now you done woke up and realized something else didn't add up in the story. Because, oop, I'm jumping. Cause, but that's why you got to go to bed on it. You got to calm down. You got to calm down. You got to go to bed on it and you got to think about it. Cause I guarantee you, you 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 wake up and you be like, damn, that didn't that's, make sense. That's how I'm gonna show y'all what we did today. Um, so originally, this room had a bed in it. Wow, what's what's going on here? This room had a bed in it, but he likes to go in there, and that's kind of like his keep post window. Can you please get out of my way? So that's the other guest bedroom there. I just took those sheets off because my friend slept in there. But this room was originally the game room. But what we did was we moved the bed into the uh, this room. And we're going to close it off so he's out. Thank you. So now it's an actual bed. Like somebody can sleep in here and I'm not feeling like it smells like dog. Amber said it didn't smell like dog. But I feel like... Because he goes in that room so much, I feel like it smells like dog. So, yeah, now we're headed to Home Goods. Amber wants In and Out. I have never had In and Out. Um, to find, even if it's not something sage green, maybe just stuff to go up on the walls in that other room, in the two rooms, because that other room is like a black and cream thing comforter. And I have like some gold mirrors. So even if I get just find like some floating bookshelves or something to put up, that'll be cute. Just something, child. I'm trying to get out of the house. More of the story. I have cleaned. I have done the works. And then I came in here. And I showed y'all a little bit, but I was on the phone, so I couldn't like speak for real. I reorganized all my boyfriend's shoes because they were just lined up any type of way. He said he had them organized. Once again, she just said I'm OCD. So I redid his shoes. And then I just redid my side of the closet. And so to all the friends that watch this and think I have a million pairs of shoes, I do not. I have shoes, but y'all be swearing that I have 50 million limb pair. I don't. He got 50 million limb pair. So... He's the root of the issue. So I redid the closet, organized it. Okay, guys, we're back on. We got the goods. So I told y'all about the sage green oh. sheets. I done hit some. I'm all to hit. What is this? Oh, the candle? What are we buying? It's like a cinder block. Oh. Ooh. So, we got these candles. The idea is... 
So, we got a couple goodies. So excited. So should I go on that side? Yeah, because yeah. the candle. See, now I want to put the pumpkin grass in it. I got this heavy piece of marble. Or maybe we could pry because there's like a lot of them stuck together. You probably split it. Hello. Oh, that's so cute. I got this marble thing tray. This bitch is heavy. Okay. But we got that so we could put these candles on top, set in the mood, you know. Real cute. So I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna lay everything out the way it's gonna be and then I'll show y'all because this little slab of thing heavy. I love this. I love me some coffee. Let me I'm not gonna yeah. So you could do a big hair. That's all you need. I'm not putting it alone. Is that for you? <laughs> oh Talking bag. Vase, the two candles, and then the bottom of that is like a green. And then say hey to Amber, guys. And there is the throw. And then my little green sheets. And then the next step will probably be next step I really want to be is getting new end tables. But I can't ever find no end tables that go with this bed. I was just telling, um, my friend's sister, my bed isn't hard to match, but what you said, textures. Mm -hmm. It's really weird, it's really odd. I don't really know how to explain it. So, end tables and then wall art, and then I'll really be done. But ever since I did the paintings out there, I feel like I could do a painting in here. Mm, yeah, you could. And you just frame it, it yeah. So. We gotta listen. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. It's a little deeper right there, right? So when it sounds hollow. <laughs> hey guys, Bob the Builder is back. We don't have a stud finder, but you know what does? The app store. So now we're gonna get that back out. I had to go grab my handy tools. Because why do y'all be lying and saying we don't need men? Shoot. I need men. All right. For sure. And what? Oh, right here. What if it's not another stud exactly what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know? Okay, so. Oh my god. Oh my lord. 
die. <laughs> <laughs> you guys on these shelves they're on the floor one of them fell at like five in the morning the other one fell at like probably an hour later if amber was not in this house i probably would have hit myself because i was getting out of shame when i heard it call so i don't know what we're gonna do i really think i'm just gonna end up it's cold I really think I'm gonna just end up getting on like Task Grab it or something and finding somebody to put it up because I'm not gonna keep fighting with the same inanimate object. Good morning. What afternoon? Happy Sunday. I just got home from church. I'm about to whip me up a quick little breakfast and then um I, what's on the menu tonight? Because I feel like I should cook Sunday dinner. I think I'm gonna cook um have y'all seen that like collard green soul food thing? I want a Sunday. Like collard greens, black eyed peas, potatoes, and you just make cornbread to go inside. You put a turkey neck in the collard greens, of course. I think we're gonna make those. I'm a little nervous because I've never made collard greens before, but it is what it is. Other option is a chicken pot pie. I don't feel like doing all that cutting and dicing, so we just gonna go with the collard greens, child. I don't know if I'm out of mode. But church was great. Start of a new chapter, um, or start of a new topic, basically building healthy relationships. Um, basically about building healthy relationships. So today, to church, I feel like I gotta move the other around like 12 times. Today, I just wore like this white shirt. You probably can't even see. Oh no, okay. White shirt, I got it from Zara. And the back has like a little scrunchy thing, like my back is kinda out, but I made sure to, you know, be cute. And I just have on like some jeans, and I wore my Louis Vuitton trainers and my tail fire bag, just to keep it simple. So I'm actually about to cook me a little breakfast right now. I have some biscuits left over from the other day when I cooked breakfast. So today's a pretty light day though, but tomorrow I'm going to an Astros game. So excited, never been to a baseball game, never in my life. Even as I lived in Atlanta, I feel like it's a crime. I should talk to my mother about that. I like that's a crime that I've never been to a game. But we're going tomorrow. I'm so excited. Hopefully tomorrow is not one of them days where it's a thousand. Let me check the weather. The game at night, but still. Let me see. Ah, sneeze. Tomorrow is going to be 95. 
So the game starts at seven. And this is why you have to check the weather. At seven o'clock still here, it's gonna be 92 degrees. I need it to drop drastically. But we're gonna get a little food going. I feel like on Sundays, it's just a given to like come in and chill. So I'm just gonna make a quick breakfast. I need to put these dishes in a dishwasher. Make me a quick little breakfast. Y'all, I came home from watching a game with Mariah and I was knocked out. Lately, I can't stay up for nothing. Don't. Don't. By nine o'clock, we were sitting on the couch. Both of us was looking like we could have been in the bed rubbing our feet together. So. Came home, went straight to bed. I was so tired. And then they stay like 45 minutes from me. So I just got, I just ended up leaving kind of earlier than what I expected. But Sunday's chill day. Make me a little light breakfast. I need to take this turkey leg out to unthaw it. Lord. I get why parents is mad at us when we take the meat out as children. What a turkey they get. Oh. I get it now. This don't even look like I'm gonna be ready to cook it by six. Can I put this in water like I do? Anything else? Call my mom. Oh, my mom. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I got a question. Hmm? Can I, am I just supposed to leave this sitting out or can I put this in water like I do like chicken? And... That's a turkey? Yes, but it's already like cooked. I just put it in yeah. the freezer. I put it in water? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It is much, much later. I just cooked the... I don't know what she called it on TikTok. It was like a soul food soup or something like that. And I didn't vlog me cooking it because I was kind of just guesstimating. Like she gave an exact recipe, but you know how we do. Just being here playing. So I did that, it took a great nap. I didn't even feel like going to the store. I needed um, milk for the cornbread. So now we wait. Um, still a little sleepy. I don't know, Sunday's just, it's just like on Sundays, you just be like, no, never mind. So, we got Real Housewives of Billy and the Boy, OG. OG on me. If you watch any, like, I don't know. I haven't watched Real Housewives in forever because I just feel like when some Mimi left, what am I watching? Mimi is the Real Housewives, okay? So, got that going, waiting on my cornbread to be finished. I taste tested the collard stuff, they taste really good. I had to season them a little more, but. Calm down, that's preference. So, I'm going to chill for the rest of the night. I just had to come on here and say before I went to bed. I'm gonna link the, the meal that I just made below. Okay, French kiss. The kitchen is clean, the kitchen is closed. But, it was so good. That one bowl, I was gonna have one bowl. You slept with some cornbread in there. I just wanna come on here and say that before I went to bed. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna get ready for tomorrow. And we gonna call it a night. I love y'all, good night. Good morning slash afternoon. I don't know why I'm so tired. Well, actually I don't know why I'm tired. I woke up at like four and didn't go back to sleep until like six. And then my, and then Uzi has been barking nonstop. I don't know what he's hearing inside the house, but it's driving him and me crazy. I don't know what is happening. So I have been like off and on up it is. 12, 18, it is Monday the 11th. I had so much energy when I went to bed. 
I thought I was going to conquer the world this morning. Do it look like I'm going to conquer anybody. Girl, is my party even straight? Okay, I guess. Child, I need to do... Well, one thing I pushed back. Today, I'm still gonna try to give him a bath. Cause he stinks. It's not even that he stinks. I just feel like he smells like outside. But he gonna smell like that regardless. But I try to give him a bath, if not every other week, at least once a month. Um, so he needs a bath. It's it's that time. And then I'm also gonna go look at this car, but I don't know if I feel like going to look at both of them. I might just go look at one of them. The same car, different color, different specs, a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then I actually have some work to do. I need to send out a couple emails today. I sent out one. I need to do like the goal today is to send out at least four emails. I don't care what time they get sent out, I'm sending them. Because if I be like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow, then I'm going to have like eight emails to send out. And I'm not, I'm just not doing that. So, sending out four emails today, giving him a bath. I'm a little hungry, but I don't feel like cooking, so I might just eat like a bowl of cereal or something. So, we will do that today. I may take y'all with me to go see the car. I don't know. I kind of don't want to show y'all until I have it. know that I like it it's just a matter of like what spec wise do I want and do I want a new one or do I want a used one as of right now I don't care to have a used one but girl we're gonna see <laughs> if I stand on that it's bath time it's bath time buddy he's so cute you guys I love when he just lets me wake up myself instead of him trying to wake me up but he's so cute He's so cute. He stinker butt. Good day, mama. I seem to take a step out. Get some end now. Let's go edge out. So some ice book, you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need mean, grass now, drop me bum though You so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby Cause I'm on my empty mind, shit I try to keep from choosing the best of me I will be that I wasted the best of me Hey guys, remember how I told y'all we weren't going to the baseball game? Well, now we're going to the baseball game. So, change of plans. I am going to go look at the car tomorrow because they're going to bring it to a different Chevrolet because I drove to the wrong one. That's neither here nor there. But I didn't have time because I want to get downtown and try to park somewhere. I've never been to a baseball game. I just know they get ridiculous because... One year when my boyfriend was with the Rockets for Summer League, there was a game and it was packed. So we are gonna head down there now. That's actually a perfect timing. So we're gonna head down there now. I don't have anything crazy. I just have on this white um, top from Zara. Jeans are American Eagle and then wool shorts. And I'm gonna wear my pink dunks and just my white tail far back. So I don't got time for them to be trying to clear bag me. I ain't got time for that. So I will talk to you guys later. I think we're gonna try to pre-game a little bit because the game don't start until seven, it's five. So I'm gonna meet my homegirl at pitch 25. I don't know, but I will talk to y'all when I get there. Good evening. Okay guys, don't kill me. It's literally probably two days after I went to the game. Hear me out. I didn't even go to the game. Didn't even make it. My friend 
poop I was meeting there, she um caught a flat on the way there and then she thought the person could fix it and I don't think he could fix it. I don't know. But needless to say, we're gonna go again next Monday. But today I am probably gonna just go to a Starbucks and try to get some work done, send out a couple emails, figure my life out. We are done editing. Hopefully, you know, hopefully. By the time y'all see this, my birthday vlog should be up. So if you're watching this video and you didn't see the birthday vlog, I recommend you go do that to see a great time. Um, I got my usual Starbucks drink. So since I've been back in the States, I have not had Starbucks because I've been terrified of what it's gonna do to my stomach. At this point, it's not even my stomach that I'm worried about. When I say I am shaking like I could like just lose my mind right now but I can't help it because it's so good I got a typical little TikTok drink the venti iced white mocha at caramel drizzle blonde roast instead of regular and of course blonde roast has more caffeine than regular child it is four o'clock and I'm drinking coffee why would I that's so stupid I can't even focus right now. I feel like my eyeballs are shaking. Like, this is crazy. But I think I told you guys that I was going to go look at this car that I wanted. Well, yeah, wanted. And that was like the worst dealership I've ever been to. I, you can ask any of my friends. I'm kind of a car girl. Like, I can go to a dealership and hold my own. I think I've told y'all that before too. Um, but like this one, the, the dealership I went to was so pushy and so just like really aggressive. Like every time I was like, no, like I'm not going to sign it or no, I need to do this. They were like, well, what do we need to do? And this, like, it was just too much. It was just too much. I've been to a lot of dealerships. I've never felt so like pressed and pushed to sign a piece of paper. So, won't be going back there. Don't even want that color. I can't concentrate. <sighs> I'm gonna die so late. Okay, I'm in traffic. So, I figure I should tell y'all a little bit more about myself. Um, I always make the joke of like, oh, I'm not the same girl anymore. Like, when in, in regards to like going out or drinking or just anything like that. And I say that jokingly, but I be dead serious. <laughs> and a lot of that has to do or deal with my walk with Christ right now and where I am. I'm not by any means perfect. I'm not by any means, I'm telling you, like, I do everything by the book. No, I, we all sin every single day. But the point is, is that you're trying. So, in college, I used to drink, like, every weekend. I used to be on my neck upside down drinking even when i go out now i still don't have it in me as much to even get drunk like i'm very much like throwing the shots over my shoulder or even when it comes to like music now i'm i'm listening now before i just used to sing stuff like not realizing what i was saying but some of the stuff these days i can't get with because why would you say that in a song? Or even just realizing like how music makes you feel. Like it's some artist, even like my boyfriend will try to play and I'm like, I'm getting irritated. And not I'm getting irritated like, I guess you could say I, I get irritated with the song, but I think the songs are just so angry that I get annoyed. Like now, now I'm mad. Now I want to fight. You see what I'm saying? Like, songs do that. I don't care what nobody say. Songs have intention behind them. He angry, now you angry. He feeling away, now you feeling away. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get it. Music is very self-expressive. I'm not saying I listen to only Christian music because I don't. But I'm just saying at the same time, like, where I'm at right now in my walk with Christ is really crazy because... Being 26 and realizing how like 
how many times God has had his hand on me. Wow. You see life from a whole different perspective. Like, there were so many times I know I shouldn't have made it home. There were so many times I probably should have, like, something should have gone wrong. Because I was just that negligent. I was that young. I was that dumb. I was that drunk. Whatever the case may be. And it didn't. Like, in college, like, I grew up in a church. I went to a Baptist church. I grew up in a church. Like, my grandmother works for the church. I was very much a church baby. Okay? But you go through that phase where it's like, I don't know. I hit college and, I mean... My high school was I going to church? I don't even remember high school going to church, honestly. But, oh, excuse me. I got to college. I wasn't making it a purpose to go to church. Now, I'm trying to go to church every Sunday. Every single Sunday. I'm getting up. Because if I can get up to go do anything else stupid, I can get up and go to church. If I can get up and get dressed up and get dolled up to go anywhere else in this world, I can get, I can get up and get dressed up and get dolled up for the Lord. That's where my head is at. And I want to tell y'all that, like, it will cause strains on friendships. It will cause strains on relationships. You going to talk to some people that's not, yes, they say it's a big deal to be equally yoked, but I think it's also a big deal to spread the word so that people can become equally yoked. Like, nobody's perfect. And, and if you're just the perfect Christian, then by all means, go find you the next perfect Christian. But none of us are perfect. It's people in my life that I know for a fact. I was put in their life because of where I am in Christ or not even where I am, what I've grown to be. I know I was put in, my, put in their life to show them like, you are blessed, you have been touched. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm this, this person, I'm not. But I know there are people in my life that needed to be reminded of God. And the older I've gotten, the more, what's the word I'm looking for? Intentional I've been with everything. Like, I don't know. I, I guess, like I said, I just realized as I was young, there were so many times I probably should have died. But I'm going to just be honest. Or I shouldn't have made it home. I shouldn't have made it home in one piece with no scratch, not a hair missing off my head. Like... But I did every single time. And that just goes to tell you, and anybody young, younger than me, older than me, God is always there. God is going to always have his hands on you. Regardless of whether you want him to or not, God know your move before you make your own move. God know what you're going to do. He knows. Even when you think he don't, he knows. But I wanted to come in here and tell y'all that because I feel like it's important. I don't know. Something just keeps telling me to tell y'all this. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. There are some things that I do and then I realize later and I'm like, oh, crap. I shouldn't have done that. Or, oh, crap. I shouldn't have said that. Like, I have literally apologized to friends because I've realized, like, dang, I gave you horrible advice. And not horrible advice in the sense of like, I done told this girl to go do something stupid. No, like, I gave you horrible advice when it comes to God, when it comes to the word, when it comes to just helping my friends grow closer to God themselves. I've literally had to apologize to friends. I'm like, friend, that wasn't good advice for me to give you. That was, that was, that was on me. My bad. Like because I feel like that's where I'm at. I feel like I have to apologize. Because why would I tell y'all to do those certain things? Why was I doing certain things? But that's the point, to be young and to be dumb and God gave his grace to allow me to see that now and to grow from that. So I wanted to come on here and just tell y'all that I don't know what compelled me to because my biggest fear i don't want y'all to think i'm this perfect person but i give thanks oh, i thought it was 18 but i give thanks to the lord i believe in the lord fully 
I believe that God is a miracle worker. I believe that he can do all things. And because he can do all things, I believe I can do all things because he strengthens me. Bible verse. Um, and wherever you are in your walk with God, don't ever let somebody tell you like anything about your own walk. Everybody's walk is different. Let me say that again. Everybody's walk is different. Some people gonna wake up tomorrow and just like flip a switch. Some people it's gradual. And also remember, God is love. So if you're confused in a situation or you feel like you don't know what you, know what you should do, God is not the God of confusion. God is love. God is peace. And I'm saying that also because I feel like right now, some people feel like, and I will admit some churches have done this, like they've turned people away because they're not filled with love, they're condemning. I'm not sitting here to condemn nobody. I am not better than anybody. Yeah, is there certain rooms I'm not gonna set foot in because I'm like, oh no, you on this? Absolutely, but I'm not gonna condemn anybody. And that's not what, I don't believe that's what we're called here to do. We're, we're called here to spread his word, to spread his love, to let it be known who and what God is and what he's done for you and other people. Unless God tell you don't tell people, that's different. Because he will tell you. Keep it on the hush. And, yeah. I don't know what made me get on his camera and tell y'all a little bit more about my walk with God but something told me to do it so I'm gonna do it um like I said everybody's walk is different nobody's perfect nobody is this perfect Christian we all sin every day it literally says it in the Bible whether you think you sin in whether you not even your thoughts like even the way that you think towards other people you have to realize that is also like not a sin but you gotta catch yourself because there's still energy behind that so, yeah, that's really strange. I don't know what just came off me. I mean, we know what, but that was all. I am still headed to Mariah's house right now. And that's another thing. Get you some friends that's going to hold you accountable in your walk with Christ. Because me and my friends, like I said, none of us are perfect, but... They will hold me accountable. If I tell them, look, I want to do this because I'm on this type of time with God and this and third, they're going to hold me to that. They're going to understand the purpose. Get you some friends that's going to hold you accountable. And that's, and that's just with anything. Like, get you some accountability partners. I know everybody loves to say they don't need nobody, but everybody got to have somebody. Get you some accountability partners. Get you some friends that's gonna push you when you can't push yourself. Cause you going it's gonna come a time where you gonna feel like giving up or they gonna feel like giving up and you gonna be that person for them. Like I think out of all my friends, I'm probably the strong friend. I don't well, I'm not gonna say I don't cry. I cry, but I'm very much like I'm probably gonna cry and then tell them about it two months later. But being where I'm at now. I've realized like God sends us people for a reason I have praying friends not just friends who are going to sit there and tell me do this do that do that no they're going to pray if I tell them detrimentally something is wrong they're going to pray I have praying grandparents I have a prank family like my folks is gonna pray if they don't do nothing else and I'm I know everybody's not blessed with that but there are people out there that are willing to be that for you you just have to find not even find them God gonna give them to you God is gonna give them to you it's so many times where I had nothing and God gave me everything I almost just cried so many times have I literally had nothing and God gave me everything. 
wow, bad is not good. God is so good. I, I mean, that's really all I can say. I don't. That's all I can say. There was. I can't even count the times. Like, looking back, God had his hand on me in, in everything that I did because. I can honestly say I've lived a blessed life. Yes, times have been hard. I've been through some crazy situations. I done been put through the ringer. The enemy has come after me in more ways than one. The enemy thought he had me. He thought he had me in the first half. He did. But then I remember, like, hold on. Hold on. I got somebody in my back pocket. <laughs> Really on the front pocket, in the front line. They ain't need no back pocket. Is this my exit? No. Um, but yeah, like, it's important to have those people around you. It's important to surround yourself with those people. It's important to be intentional in everything that you do because once you realize, like, okay, once you realize who God is and what he can do you gonna feel like you on top of the world and that's I'm not saying like that's kind of where I am now because before now my self doubt was at an all time high like self my self doubt was crazy and anybody can tell you like my boyfriend says it all the time I am good at so many things but I get in my own head and then I don't want to do it anymore or I don't take a break or anything like that and right now where I am I'm accepting all the small wins because no win is small and I it took me a minute to realize that no blessing is small no win is small I feel like we always be like you know thank God for the small things nothing is small because what's small to us is somebody is what somebody is begging to happen to them nothing is small nothing is nothing is small there are no small wins a win is a win big dub that's what i'm saying and the quicker that you grasp that the quicker you're gonna be just so accepting of everything you're not gonna rush for everything to happen i feel like that's what happens we don't account for like the big wins because we think they're small, so then we start rushing, then we start panicking. When in reality, we don't have to do none of that. Accept where you are, accept what you have, and go from there. And if you wanna continue to build it, continue to build it, just knowing that God is behind you. 110%. God ain't never left me and forsake me, I'm telling y'all. There were times I had nothing. God nothing but God gave me everything God gave me a roof over my head a meal to eat a bed to sleep in a place where I felt safe like he's done all of that I would really have to go into detail about everything I went through but that's for a way later date <clears throat> no we're not, I'm not going to go into all that detail, but oh, this traffic truck is right here. Um, God will give you everything. And even when you feel like God isn't giving you everything, you might be praying for something to happen. And even though it doesn't happen, or you feel like, why don't I have this yet? Or why hasn't this happened? It's not meant to. I look I'm looking at it from a perspective of perspective of there's something bigger. There's something greater. And that's just a hundred and ten percent honest. God didn't give it to me because there's a hundred there's something bigger, there's something greater. Or God didn't give me this job because I didn't appreciate my last job. How I'm gonna keep asking God to give me all these things and I didn't even appreciate whatever it was that he gave me at that moment. How that work? You asking God for 10 more things. You don't even appreciate the place you got now. That's full of gold, but 
you can't see it because you so focused on your next plate that you ain't even seen yet. You don't know what God could be protecting you from because he's not going to let you get there. God said, hold on, you think you want it? You don't want it just yet. You don't want it just yet. Let me over. I'm going to come over anyways. Um, I'm telling y'all. And, and it's taking me multiple times to learn it. Like, you don't have it yet because God said, you're not ready for it. He could either be protecting you from something and what you're asking for, or it's simply you're just not ready. And you think that you are, but you aren't. Those are the things that God does. That is it. That is all. I don't really think I have anything else to say. I didn't even intend to come on here and say all of that. Um, but yeah. That's where I am now. I'm all with Christ. Fully believing. Give it all to Him. There's no point in stressing. There's no point in worrying. Yes, I mean, that's very normal. But... He gonna figure it out before you figure it out. That is all. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk today. Okay. I have not vlogged all day. I've actually had a rough day. Just emotionally. So I have not vlogged all day. But shout out to good friends. Homegirl just called me. She sent me to bed with a bottle. She said get up. And I kind of, you know, told her about my day. And she was like, oh no, Mia. Get out the bed. So I got up. I'm not doing a full face today. Um, just because the weekend shenanigans are here. But I'm just going to do a lash. Maybe a little bit of eyeliner. Because I feel like. I feel like these lashes are like really full. Or really dramatic for me. To not put on some type of eyeliner. But I love eyeliner. So that's just me. I got a lot to do on the app. Well. No, no. I just need to eat. I was actually finna get up and make me something to eat, like, right when she called me. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much the face. I'm not... I got all weekend to do my face. I am not doing my makeup full face on a Friday? No. And we're getting out early so we can come home early. That's why you get friends. <laughs> They be on the same mindset, the same, it's raining again. They be on the same thought process. Like, my girl knows me. She said, I'm really trying to get out now so we can get home. Baby, that's all you got to say. I'm up. I'm finna be dressed. An outfit I've worn before, but not in the States. Because this is the only day. Jay said this is the only day I could wear tennis shoes. <sighs> I need to eat. That's all I know. <laughs> I need to eat. Let's show y'all my all-time favorite smell good combo. It is so de Janeiro. This is oh, excuse me. This I don't the bright pink one. I feel like on camera this may look orange. This is the light bright pink one. And then I follow it up with Billie Eilish. Everybody talks about the gold one of Billie Eilish. I don't feel like y'all talk about this one. I love this one. Like, I pray that she never stops selling it because I would be so sad. I love that perfume. So that is my all-time favorite smell good look good combo and then my back is gonna be out my back and my chest so i am then gonna go in well i'm gonna probably put the lotion on first then i'm gonna go in with um the dior body glitter
I was on the phone running my mouth. I told you that's how I did. We are carrying the Carlton Yato um, back, and then we're doing our Lanvin's cute little color block. Y'all know I don't wear shoes in my house, so I'm gonna put them on later. But this is the outfit I got this from. Don't remember. I'll have to just tag them below. But the it's like a whole one piece thing, and it has like the staggered pant look. <laughs> but back out body glitter is on that I told y'all about. We out because the quicker we go out, the quicker we'll come. We can get home. The quicker we can get home. So I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow. Too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, that's fine, okay Think we got too sexy for that metro house Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000 Section need more things in here, I like it cry Okay, we're ready It's been a shit show I've been asleep all day I am genuinely tired But I'm still gonna go out for my homegirl birthday Because why not? So today we have on, um, I did a red lip. I actually like it. So to all the people that used to be like, why you don't do a red lip? I like it. Calm down. So I have on this really old set from Fashion Nova. It's a little skirt, a little steady set, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to do gold heels and I'm going to do my, this bag, hold on. I'm gonna do this bag and my gold heels. But y'all, I have literally been asleep all day long. These are the shoes. So the gold is golding. I'm really tired, you guys. Um, but the jacket is so cute. I might take a picture of that. I was like, I wasn't planning on it, but now I'm gonna well take one. <sighs> okay. Talk to y'all in like 30 minutes. We back outside. Yeah. Back Bitch, outside. We outside tonight. Mm. I'm missing something. I know I am. This girl been missing something the past 30 minutes. <laughs> the post is eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can y'all see? Yeah. Yeah, they see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cuz he said, hey, well, come here. Getting better lighting. Say hello. Oh it's her birthday. Yeah. This is what we're here for. So let me give her some. We're gonna have a bow. Whoa! I was like, I was standing here forever. I know I need to get rid of it. She'll be here for tonight and tomorrow. We're gonna take it. Shut up. This smells like gasoline. Why y'all keep smelling it? It's by my nose. <laughs> Can I like take it. another one? I don't like Everybody it. Everybody take one. Everybody touch it. I don't like <laughs> it. I do. You gotta think about you your decisions. It was a lot. <laughs> there was a sign up too. Good morning. Actually, afternoon. It is 1 30. It is the day after the club. Listen. I sound like a man. That mean I had a great time. Okay. I look crazy. I look like yesterday. <sighs> then it's on my brunch at five, which means I really have to start getting ready now so I can make it to their Airbnb by four so I could get there and shut out. I don't have it in my outside. It is the end of the Sunday. I didn't really vlog because I like deep cleaned. Like, once I had it in my mind that that's what I was doing today, it got done. And Lord knows it needed it. I'm just, you know, like, I feel like I'm one of those people where if my house is a mess, that means somewhere mentally I'm a mess. So I think that's what was, what was happening. 
So the house is clean. I actually, listen, I know I'm a big girl because I did the laundry, folded it, and put it up. Usually, that laundry will sit out there a good two or three days. I folded it, put it away, washed the sheets. We are ready for Monday. Um, and I know why my throat was hurting. This morning when I woke up, they done sent the videos. I'm in there yelling, sitting on the folks tables. Being ridiculous. That's why my throat was hurting this morning. So, as you can see, I don't sound like a man no more. Also, I forgot to tell y'all what shade of, I mean, what foundation I got, I think, a week or two ago when I posted, like, the maintenance vlog. I ended up getting a house lab foundation. And let me tell y'all something. I have oily skin. So, if I go out and I sweat, I feel like you see it instantly, no matter what foundation I've ever bought. Once, as soon as I break a sweat, it looks like... I put my face in baby oil. I don't know. And I hate, I told y'all, I'm not a dewy makeup person. I need it to be as mad as possible. We were outside at camp. My makeup did not move. My makeup was so, like, it was still really nice towards the end of the night. Um, so I would definitely recommend the house labs. I will put my shade over here because I can't remember my shade and it's in the bathroom. I'm not getting back out this bed. But yes, House Labs, 10 out of 10 would recommend. For me, I have oily skin. It worked perfect for me. But said all that to say, you guys have a great week. Thank you guys for watching again. And thank you for tuning in if you're new. And I hope that you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed week.